Right. Uh, can we just get a sound check there? Good evening, uh, Morneystein. Ready to go. And uh, Percival Young, will you set us off in English, please? Oh, my word. Nevertheless, thank you so much, Rayan. Uh, good evening, Morneystein. Good evening, even Eric Smith. Congratulations on the victory. Morning, just briefly. Obviously, all of us want to know what went through your, your, your head in that last quarter of the match. Obviously, deja vu, you're doing what you did in 2009, you're doing it again. What does it mean for you contributing towards this victory for, for the team? Sir? Yeah, of course, just to be part of this whole thing uh, 12 years later, it's an amazing feeling. Uh, yeah, then to get that final kick again, um, almost the same position, just a bit closer for the old legs. Um, yeah, but yeah, luckily it went over and it's, I think it's a great day for South African rugby. Thank you. Nathan Kogela. Uh, thanks, Ray. Um, congratulations, guys. Um, yeah, but let's talk about the lines. We know your guys' strengths were more drives and the area kicks for territory. Uh, we saw them kick a lot throughout the series and them showing intent to use the driving more. Were you somehow surprised by the, their tactics throughout the series or was it expected? No, I think it, it was expected. Uh, obviously, the first test match, uh, I think they got us uh, quite tough forward and then we came back in the second test match and we always knew that the third one is going to be a, a massive one. It's going to be a close contest. Uh, probably the teams with the best kicking game will win the game. It's a funny thing, this morning I had breakfast with Mone and I actually told him uh, what it might come down to, to you winning a series for South Africa again 12 years later. Uh, his reply was uh, that he hopes we, we're a bit further ahead by that time. It happened that way and yeah, I mean, what, what a way to finish. Uh, just, I mean, special mention to him coming coming back, playing in France, uh, coming back to play for the Bulls and winning for us a series. It's, uh, it's unbelievable. So. Yeah, it's just, just nice to be a part of this this team and, and players like this. And yeah, what a uh, great experience. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Eben. We'll circle back to Yander Koenen in English, please. Thank you, Ryan. Uh, Morning. Uh, firstly, congratulations. And Eben, congratulations. Uh, yeah, it's a, it's a privilege because, I mean, I saw it in 2009 in the stadium. Uh, this time, not as fortunate to be in the stadium. But can you take us through the process, both 2009, as you go through the process for the kick, uh, and again today? Um, what goes through your mind? What do you do to calm yourself down? Yeah, it's a bit long to remember what exactly happened in uh, 2009. But, yeah, it was almost exactly the same situation. We were also tied up and, yeah, we had a final kick to win the game. Like I said, that one just, that one was 54 meters and this one today was about, what, 25 meters. So, yeah, it was a, a bit a bit better for the old legs, but, yeah, I think it's, you know, it's, for a kicker, it's it's like special cases like that, you know, you, you put in the hard, all in the, all the hard work in during the week and during your whole career for, for kicks like that. You always dream of that one kick to win a series or to win a game or to win a championship or whatever, so... Luckily, it paid off today, and yeah, all the hard work and, and all the glory to God. You know, it just gave me the the he saved me through my career through injuries, and he gave me another, another opportunity to do this. Thank you, Monay. Um, yeah, but I won't ask this question in Isu Tosa, but um, in one of the moments of the game where Liam Williams actually could have and should have offloaded to Josh Adams for that try. Um, where was your were your hearts in your mouth at that time? Because the Lions could have gone up 17-3 and it could have been game over at the time. Yeah, to be honest, I can't remember that moment. My head was probably stuck in a breakdown somewhere. Uh, yeah, for me, I mean, a lot of things could have gone both ways. Uh, I think the, the most important thing for us is, I mean, one by one point or, or 20 points is just getting a serious uh, victory. So... I mean, I'm so happy. I can't remember much of the game. Uh, I can remember that morning kick the winning, the winning uh, kick. Uh, but yeah, just awesome sitting here uh, on a winning, on a winning side. Uh, it was a once in a lifetime opportunity. Uh, we'll never, I think, no one in the squad will ever get this opportunity again. So yeah, we grab with both fans and yeah, we just, we just grateful and yeah, we're gonna have a good, night. good celebration tonight. <laughs> Do enjoy, man. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, next up is Robin Duke. Uh, thanks, Ryan. Um, Mone, I just want to check here. 
uh, you last played against the, you know, for the Springboks against the against the All Blacks, and then you come back and you play after so many years. Is this the last one for you? You see in the box, uh, for an age of 30, 37, now you're a veteran. And then just to 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 Eben, um, where does this rank, you know, in your career? Because you were part of also 2019. You know, just in terms of your coaching career, I mean, in terms of your your, your career, where does and, and how, how how do you guys keep them the 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 hunger going forward with the rugby championship starting next week? Yeah, you know, I came back from France um, after six years in France, and I didn't expect playing for the Springboks again. I thought it was over. Um, yeah, but it all went well and at the Bulls, at the Carry Cup and the Super Rugby and all the competitions we play there. Um, and I had the opportunity to play again. So at this moment, I'm just taking it year by year as life goes on. As long as I can play for the Springboks, I will play for the Springboks. Um, I think I will never say no to the Springboks. So as long as they want to pick me, and I will always be available. So, but yeah, just enjoying the moment now and enjoy every day um, in the green and gold. Yeah, to answer your question towards me, I think uh, I think the world is probably still more than a goal. Uh, I think that's probably what everyone dreams of. But I mean, Bristol Irish Lions is, is definitely second. If you're a Springbok, uh, World Cup number one, Bristol Irish Lions number two. Although the Bristol Irish Lions, you only have one opportunity. Uh, but I mean, it's it's massive for us. Uh, just just getting, like I said, getting it didn't matter how we how we won today. Uh, just getting the victory and getting the series was. It was great for us as a team. I think we had uh, lots of lots of struggles, uh, lots of things probably going against us before before this whole tour with uh, COVID inter interrupting the team a bit. Uh, but yeah, to to get over the final a little and win, win the test series is, is, is massive for us. And, and like I said, we'll we'll uh, enjoy it tonight. Um, probably enjoy it tomorrow still. But then uh, next week Saturday we play Argentina and it's the start of the rugby championship and. Uh, we'll, we'll go into that fully focused, uh, fully prepared, and uh, I think it's just going to make us just yeah make us hungry for for even more success. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have to work hard. Like I said, we'll, we'll enjoy tonight, uh, massive. Uh, but yeah, Monday, yeah. Monday, Tuesday, we we back on back on track and prepare for prepare for Argentina. Thank you, Evan, and we will finish off uh, Percival Young. A kort opsomming, waarschijnlijk een Afrikaans voor jou. Ik zeg voorbij, dank je, Ryan. Um, um, morgen net kortliks, ik jammer dat ik vraag dat je moet herhalen, net kortliks, waar het hier jou kop gegaan die emoties, nadat het jij ook een bijdrage kon geleverd tot hierdie reeks zeggen, en net kortliks, Eben, um, jij was daar geweest in 2019 in, 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 in Japan geweest, hoe, ver, hoe, hoe vergelijk hierdie vreugde vanavond met die wereldbeker zeggen van hem? Ja, dus ik denk net om, zoals ik zei, net om deel te wees van die hele ding weer, na 12 jaar om deel te kan wees van die span, En dan weer op die veld gegaan het um, vanavond en op die einde die wenskop weer ek oorskop het. Um, maar ek denk is die hele build-up geweest die hele game. Um, jy weet ek denk die hele span het ons nie ons beste performance gehad vandag nie, maar jy weet op die ons wat jy ben nou gesê het. Um, jy weet maak jy saak hoe jy wen nie, so nou kan jy nie die wen deertrek. So jy weet, jy weet alles wordt nou af, daar geskryf van die laatste skop, maar jy weet die hele span het hulle die hele toernooi sag gemaakt. En je bent dus ons gekregen in die einde om die, om die, om die laatste finale te, te speel. En ja, als het net mooi uitgewerkt dat ik die laatste skop, is die vergevens een goeie praatje by breakfast was van hoogte. Eh, ja, plus om met jou met jou vraag te maken. Zoals ik zei, ik lees maar Brits in Utrecht Lewis, zal ik zeggen net onderom. Zoals uh, so ik gesê, dit is, dit is a once in a life opportunity, behalve vanmorgen. Ik heb twee keer voor die bokken gegeven. Net. Maar de rest van ons gaan, gaan één kans krijgen in ons gesê, die, die 80 minuten. Um, dus de laatste 80 minuten. Als het gaat niet meer. Ja, het is een massive, massive opportunity voor ons. Maar ja, zoals ik zei, ons gaat volgende week een toets, een toets die in Argentinië. Dus so ons gaan ons lief en land genieten. En, en maandag, dinsdag gaan we weer prepare voor Argentinië. En, Ik ben ons, ons moet net naar voren te vallen. Ik sta op.